Hi there, I'm going to take you through our Connect Interactive uh, Features uh, High, Middle and Low Comparisons. So this has just been released into Connect Interactive um, and the key area really is the subject analysis area. So I'm going to pop in there. Now I'm going to show you it in year 11 but uh, it works equally as well over Key Stage 5 uh, qualifications BTEC and A-Level and AS. So what I've got here is um, uh, an MP1, which is my, my first monitoring point of the year for year 11. Uh, I've got all my subjects here, as you can see, um, and I'm going to add a compare edit. Now, in the quick group tab, you can see high, middle and low prior attainment comes up there. That's now a standard feature. OK, you do not have to add anything to connect data. It's just calculating uh, your prior attainment bands from the data that you've submitted. So if I pop in there, I get my uh, four different high, middle, low and unknown. I can just uncheck unknown if I just want to see the three uh, areas. Apply that comparison. And then in my subject overview, um, I'm now going to check the show all students in one table. And then I can very easily see across for this monitoring point um, exactly how each uh, comparison group of students is performing. And I can see here that actually my high prior attainers are a little bit less red and in some cases bluer than my other two groups. So I may want to start thinking about stretch and challenge and are these high prior attainers reaching the um, top grades. So if I just take chemistry as an example, um, because I've got a grade 5 there from my high prior attainers and 2 from my middle. So if I pop into chemistry by clicking, the filter is retained and I can see the different um, value added scores for my comparison groups on my thermometer. So this is for the whole of chemistry. If I wanted to see this by a teaching set, I could just uh, click in there uh, and the principle is exactly the same. So if I want to see which students those uh, those uh, high, middle and low groups are um, relating to, I click on my student tab um, and here are my high. So I'm just going to click on that and then I get a list of my high prior attainers. So I can sort those from high to low. Um, and then what I can do with my high attainers is I can actually do the modeling. So I can drag that higher high attainment box up to let's say to the three and say wow you know 35 students need to improve by a grade to reach that three so that might be a little bit unrealistic so let me just go to the four uh, 16 students so um, if I turn the what if on now then I can now look down and I can look at where these top, uh, there's the minimum expected grades, so they're all looking at eights. And you can see that there's a, a block of students here who are just not getting that eight. So if I was to, from tomorrow in my lessons, for example, target some of these grade six students and five there up to the eight. So I'm just doing some uh, modeling now, six to eight, give you an example. Um, what should be happening over here is that the high um, has moved slightly towards that grade four, if that makes sense. So I can do all of that modeling and all of that what if with this comparison group on so that I can uh, get right down into my top high, ach high achieving prior attainment students and see what I need to do with them next to ensure that their progress is as good as uh, per my middle prior attainers in this uh, group. Okay, thanks very much. Hope that was helpful.